Uh, is this gonna be an E1 run by the way? Oh my f***ing god, I swear to god, if I see another PvP or flex or relics, I will f***ing eat your dog, okay? Come the f*** now, 159 speed, right? Okay, very good. Oh my... I hope you step on the Lego. Subscribe. Welcome to the third episode of Pokey's Brawl Ghost Hunters Halloween Edition. This time featuring the loser bracket of Clandy and Duncan. The losers of the two previous uh, semi-finals. Rules are as follows. Quen, quen, pickle, both things are blah, 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 blah. Alright, same rules as always. In the spirit of Halloween. So we are going to be going into blue team first banning Akron. And unfortunately, my wife is going to get banned for the first time. I think this was uh, their PTSD. When the enemy E3 face out obliterated Huli. So PTSD face out is gone. First pick. Harmony Trailblazer into a Aventurine and E1 Bobbin again. By the way, chat, so far, Bobbin has a 0% win rate. Can Bobbin finally win against E1 Rame? So, we have E1 Bobbin versus E1 Rame. Great team banning one of the strongest to break Firefly, and then this is gonna be banning Topaz. We are going to see an E2 Sparkle first with a red team, followed by, after 10,000 years. E2 S1 Imbibitor Lune. Super break Imbibitor Lune is finally back. This is featuring our team with E0 S1 Ling Sha. Very, very, very nicely done here. How will Raid Team survive? And they pick up Qing Yun and E2 S1 Kimiko. And then they are gonna follow up with a Bronya and Sustain Well! Sustain Well, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like Sustain Well is going to be paired up with E2 in Bibliothrone. And for the first time, both teams have decided to finally use Shu Shang. First ever Shu Shang appearance in this entire tournament. And then their last way is going to be Wang Wang over here, right? So, without further ado, let's see who can stand against the champion of the Losers League. Chat, I'm wrong. It is not Super Dale. It is the OG Classic Dale. Oh my god, E2 Dale, are you watching this? 98% crit rate with 190 crit damage. Rocking Bronya, Hanya, and Sustain Well. Are you watching this, E2 Dale? This one's for you. Two piece. Oh my god, we have a 60% break effect. Is this for the imprisonment value? Because break effect helps us scale with higher imprisonment, right? We are cooking E2 Guowang. This is gonna be a 140 brand with once a classic dance dance dance. Classic dance dance dance. Didn't even get the crit damage trace kill in game, of course. Uh, uh, oh, 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 Blood wants to be a. Oh, Bro wants to be sneaky. Bro wants to be a little bugger, huh? Pointing out his unmaxed tracers, right? Oh, hey, look at this. Didn't even max my brand trace, right? Look at this. Alright, Bro is a little bit sneaky. Four piece ego set with two piece panicony. For the ER, there's gonna be an E3 Bronya. And now we have a Hanya. What the f am I? Holy fing shit. 198 speed Hanya. Also on DDD. That's absolutely crazy. Bro, I didn't even raise her to level 80, by the way. Level 75 Hanya. Okay. Getting the four piece hacker space. So we have. Okay, this is effectively 200 speed minimum in battle with the four piece hacker space. Okay. And where is the well? Sustain well. Level 70 sustain well. Rocking 158 speed with Xiao Chiu. Did they even unlock the final trace? 
four-piece ego sustained well. Okay, this genuinely looks super interesting. Oh, didn't really get the E2. That's a little bit unfortunate, but uh, this looks very, very, very interesting. I am genuinely looking forward to see how this team performs. This looks like a very, very interesting team comp. We are cooking. This looks cinema. This is a cinema match. Hanya popping off with a skill. Well, instantly going for the skill, but Hanya refunds the skill point. Bronya is going to be able to skill. We are skilling well to do a basic so that we can cast our ultimate. In order to... 126 EHR. Holy fuck. Stand down. Survive we are absolutely you. cooking with this one. Oh my god, we are cooking. We are cooking. Is this enough to get the ultimate? I don't think it might be. Unless he kills the TV. Ooh. Yeah, it's time to retire, Unc. If my crit DPS is dealing less damage than my super break, it's time to retire. All right. Uh, all right, Hanya going in for another skill. I feel like this can go up a lot better once we actually get some buffs. All right, because there's something that was unbuffed. That was unbuffed. Now we're going to have Hanya's ultimate. We're going to have Bronya's ultimate. We're going to have Bronya's skill. So surely E2 deal will do a lot better now. Well needs to generate some skill points. Otherwise, we are running out. We need skill points. We need skill points. Skill points. Skill points. Skill points. Skill points. Skill. What is that a thing? Just fucking use your skill. Oh my fucking god. Okay. We yeah, buddy. Okay. 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 We are gonna basic. But because we have done Zans Zans, we can push ourselves back up. Our Dan Zan Zans should be able to push ourselves back up, right? I think it's enough to push ourselves back up. We've the yep, and there it is. The power of S10 Dance Dance Dance. The power of S10 Dance Dance Dance. Going for the 3 skill point. 297k into a, another ultimate. Getting a big hit over here. 220k and another hit over here. 300k. So that was roughly almost 800,000. 800,000 using uh, six skill points. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Right. We are unfortunately out of skill points. <laughs> didn't even trigger the fucking E1. Blood did not trigger the E1. Uh, okay. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. Alright, we got a TV. It's fine. It's good. It's pretty good. Uh, we are still extremely, extremely low on skill points, unfortunately. Big MOC debuff. Hanya needs to give us something now. We are die. Oh my god. And also, because it's sustained well, every single damage is permanent damage. And we are guaranteed to take some form of damage later on from the, from the poison guy. From the DOT guy. Okay, E2 deal, you have to clear this with your triple basic. Otherwise, it's going to be looking very, very rough. The poison guy cannot move. Yo, j what up? Yeah, the poison guy cannot move. You have to kill here. There is no other choice. <laughs> Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Okay. We are forced to use our ultimate. But this should be enough to kill. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's good. That's good. That is good. We have three scales as well. So now we are gonna... Leave it to me. Rely on... Why are we scaling? Why are we scaling? Do you think you have infinite skill points? Your skill points are non-existent. You know nothing of the weight behind. Survive okay. or be destroyed. We're just gonna skill for fun. Choice. Now we're back down to three skill points. If we Bronya skill here, if we don't pro the E1, please pro the E1. Please pro the E1. Please pro the E1. I'm begging. I'm begging. Pro the E1. Pro the E1. E1 Bronya. 
E1 Bronya. Oh my god, thank god. Holy shit. All right, that actually proc so safe. Very good, very good. We are gonna get a hit over here. Get off the triple or rather double break. The guy in the middle is resistant to imaginary and that is gonna be a pain in the goddamn ass. We are also not using our Bronya ultimate, so it is purely there just for the DDD action very advanced. I'm assuming we're proccing DDD now. Okay, never mind. We are not proccing DDD. Okay, now we proc DDD. Well, you have to base it here, generate us the skill points. Yep. The guy in the middle is just ruining everything. Honestly, this is not E2 deal spot. Like, why is bro just I'm resistant to imaginary? You get what I'm saying? Why can't my man E2 deal be... Oh my god, we're scaling Hanya. To prod the DDD. And casting the break. By the will of the ten, the ten lords decree. Okay. They actually did not move a single time, by the way. Look at this shit. 200 AV, 300. It, nobody is ever moving. The problem is, at the same time, no one is dying as well. Bro is legit stalling for fun. This is a stall team. Teratone is going to love this team. If you are a staller. Uh, let, 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 let's just see where we're going to go with this. You're probably needing to base it into a Bronya, right? Because you want to you wanna get the buff. Okay, a Bronya skill surely... Oh, wait. Do you even have the... Okay. Okay. We are generating skill points and energy. Bronya is going to skill well. Hop off a basic. Okay, now we surely kill. Finally. A perfect 0%. Unfortunately, we're still in phase. Oh, wait, that's cheating, guys. Wait, that's cheating. You can't even delay this. Oh my god, the game is cheating. Why is this not delayed? Oh my god, the game is just cheating. Oh my god, Raya, fix your f***ing game. Oh my god, the, the game is just cheating for fun. He, he can never de delay this, right? Wait. Wait. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey, you know what, sir? Even if you lose, you won. You are cooking. You are actually cinema. A cinema run. They legit did not move a single time. They legit did not move a single time. Now this bitch is gonna move though. This bitch is gonna move. Don't sleep, Bronya. Okay, that's fine. Nobody cares. Nobody cares at all. Nobody cares. Legit, no one cares about Hanya at this point. Well, actually, we do care about Hanya because if she if she gets slapped, she, we can't generate skill points. Oh, this is a little bit rough. The next hit is gonna be the, the wave. It's gonna be the big hit. Okay. Lend me your strength. We have no choice here. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh my god, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, he was one action value away, chat. He was one action value away. Half an action value. They are literally both at. Oh my god, that's so fucked. Oh my god, it's not enough. Oh my god, it's not enough. Even if he speed buffed, well, it's not enough. The Ten Lords Decree. Oh, Hereby no. Ordained. I mean, maybe if the guy doesn't hit deal, it's fine. If he doesn't hit deal, it's fine. You gotta pray. You gotta pray. Are you praying, Chad? Because I'm praying. <sighs> it's, I shall be the judge. Oh, my God. 
actually saved. Actually saved. Holy shit. Despite his destruction typing, actually saved. Okay, you have to basic here and you let Bronya cleanse your wind shear. Otherwise, you are cooked. Okay, that's good. Leave it to me. Unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Oh no. Let's begin. Do we have enough? We can delay. We can delay. The delay should be enough. The delay should be enough. You know nothing of Huge! The weight behind survive or be destroyed. Huge! There is no other choice. Wait, but the wind shear The wind shear might might kill? Recap. I'm not sure. No, no, wait, no, 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 the wind shield, the wind shield does not kill. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Steve well, basic gives us another skill point. 330 HP. Seven search. Okay, we are not even going to wait for Bronya anymore. We're just going. We're just going at this point. We are actually just going. Bro, just said, nah, fuck Bronya skill. Oh, Blood had a bit of an unk hence. Didn't press ultimate fast enough. Okay, we get a break here. We get a break here. I shall be the judge. Time okay. Well, just basic, buddy. Just basic. Just basic. Just basic. Just basic. Yep. In my opinion, you just go. You just. You just, you just wait for Bronya. Or maybe you can just go all in. Nah, I think I'll wait for Bronya. I'll wait for Bronya's buff. Okay. That's good. I would. Okay, bro is not waiting for anybody. Okay, you know what? No difference. All right, done. Holy shit. Cinematic four cycle. Even though it was a four cycle, that was a cinematic four cycle. With well sustained and OGE2 deal. Unk deal revives from his grave. But chat, I just do want to say, it is kind of crazy that what used to be one of, if not the strongest E2s in the entire game, is now doing four cycles on Memory of Chaos. Times have definitely changed, man. Now it's up to Himeko. Grandpa Smack. Sorry, Grandpa Welt versus Grandma Himeko. Who will be the Unk of the Unks? E3 Himeko. I'm assuming this is, oh my god, E2 Sparkle with E0, Huan Huan, and Chiao Chiu. Target to beat is four cycles. Target to beat is four cycles. But I think it might be in the favor of, of, of Mommy Himiko, not gonna lie. Because their entire lineup is weak to fire. So we are seeing a good old fashioned crit DPS showdown with no super Himiko, no super. Surprise wrap up. Blood just wants to flex his wrap up. Alright, okay, cool. Uh random wrap up showcase. Very nice. Okay. Going back. Bang. Bada boom. Target to beat four cycles. I I think it should be quite comfortable. I think it should be quite comfortable. I, I don't think Himeko should face too much of an issue. Uh I frankly think that just just nowadays, super break just works so much better than crit nowadays. It is what it is. Going for a Chiao Chiu, big break. He may go on 156k follow up. Very nice. Let's break that elite so that we can start to stack on our, our talent for Himeko. Huang Huang with the skill. You're absolutely fucking welcome, by the way. And TV is gonna hit us with the with the with the energy. That's big. That's huge actually. Hitting Chiao Chiu is extremely, extremely huge. Oh my god, okay. Zero waste on the TV. We are now on full energy. Popping off a Sparkle ultimate. Jiao Chiu probably would out here. I mean, why not, right? Okay, no, never mind. We are gonna go for a Himeko out first. Popping off a talent. Getting the energy back for two teammates. Now Jiao Chiu is gonna skill instead of out. This will trigger another talent from Himeko. Himeko will go in. Himeko will go in. Himeko will go in. 
Okay, Himego goes in. And then we're gonna get another talent from the Exo Toughness. We're gonna get another talent from the Exo Toughness. Big break. Yep. Break that guy. And then we'll get another talent. 96k into another talent. Into another talent after this. Frankly speaking, at this point, even though we have a lot of talents, it really just goes to show crit DPS just is just, just a little bit cooked. Like I'm I honestly, if, if there was super break, they would be dead. They would already be dead. Crit DPS is just not looking too good right now. He may go going for our ultimate at this point. Big out follow up, but it is impossible to get the zero cycle. It is impossible to get a zero cycle. We just have to go where where. Hey, where where you try? Uh, yep. We just have to go. Okay. Should be a very nice one cycle at this point. Yep. 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 Okay. Yeah, I should definitely be a clear here. Unless. Unless. Okay. I just want to say this entire time. If he casted the Jiao Chou out at the start, he would have got another Jiao Chou out by now. I, I just want to say that. But uh, I don't think it should be that big of a deal. It should be fine. Probably didn't expect uh, the energy to come out so fast. The question is, is this enough to clear in this rotation though? It might not even be enough. Oh, are we still saving Jiao Chou's out? Oh my god, we are just saving we're just saving for next year. Alright, cool. This probably would be enough. Imagine if this was not enough because we did have Jiao Chou's out. Okay, then am I saved? Alright, alright. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Now we'll have Jiao Chou's out finally. Finally we'll cast Jiao Chou's out. That's good. Good toughness bar. Good skill as well. Triple toughness damage. We are... Okay, this is... Okay, chat. This is a big brain play, by the way. You don't want to hit the guy in the middle because you want to stagger their toughness such that Himiko can proc her talent separately. This is a big brain play. Huge brain play. Yep. So now you can actually break them separately and, and she'll gain the absolute highest value over here. So ultimate will trigger a follow-up. And then once you cast another follow-up, you can cast your skill again to trigger another follow-up. Yep. Yep, we are staggering. We are staggering. At this point, it's a little bit hard to completely stagger because I don't know, I'll just yeah, just just go with this guy. You are gonna break either ways. It's impossible to fully stagger them all, so it doesn't really matter that much. We are we are cooking. We are cooking. We are still cooking. We are cooking. We are stalling. We are going for the middle guy into another follow up. There's a trigger. There another follow up. Okay, then this will trigger another follow-up into another follow-up. So we get two more follow-ups from this. It does. Hue Hue, there's no difference, Hue Hue. Just make up a damn, I just slap in the face, right? It's literally, it, it changes nothing. Oh my god, what does it change? Okay, big. And then we're gonna get another follow-up. Yep, into another follow-up, very nice. Okay, this should bring us to the next wave. Very, very nicely done over here. This should bring us to the next wave. Ooh. Okay, a little bit rough. Not quite enough. Unfortunately, we are... Wait! Where, where out? We get our human go out and we go to the next wave. Oh my god. Where, where? She's trying her best. She's trying her best. All right, it is what it is. <laughs> She's trying her best. Okay, now now we get it. All right, now we get it. Yeah, maybe it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. We we might just be able to get the clear here in either case. Uh, we are stalling for fun. Okay, we got. Okay, wait. It's just ultimate into ultimate, right? Yeah, we just ultimate into ultimate. All right, cool. Okay, this is a hit over here, and another hit over here. When when ultimate will go up, 
which will get the cleanse later on. Doing the big brain move again by staggering that toughness bar. Yep, 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 yep. Just holy. Yep. Follow up. And then later on, we're going to get another follow up. Himigo will go in over here and we get another follow up. Sparkle should be enough to get us through the next phase because you still have one more turn over here. Okay. Okay, we still went for the middle guy. Very nice. Into a break. Into another big. Okay, we should definitely get a clear here. When we goes in, break the guy in the middle. Himigo triggers a follow up. Okay, break the guy inside. Well, it doesn't matter. And then we get another break. And then we'll hit with a Jiao Chiu. Into another break. Please tell me you basic here. Yep. 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 Okay. Follow up. Sparkle skills brings up Himeko. Himeko has the Sparkle ultimate into a skill for ultimate. And then this will be the run. Coming in at a two cycle. There is no world this does not kill. I swear to God this. Okay. Yep. 1%. Fantastic. And we get a gun. Yeah, mommy Himeko. So I guess the moral of the story is uh, Himeko two cycle. E2 deal, 4 cycle. Unfortunately, the, 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 the cycles are just not in fair for imaginary because the middle guy is just a pain in the ass. It's because blood is resistant to imaginary. This is very, very unfortunate. So now it comes down to super break Shu Shang. Super break Shu Shang with Ran Mei, Harmony MC, and Ling Sha. The strongest super break team known to mankind. 4-piece Iron Calvary, 2-piece Calvary, 180 speed, by the way, with 177 break effect. Rame on 164S1, Trace fully maxed out, Relics on 4-piece, Watchmaker 2-piece, Von Weg. Uh, is this gonna be an E1 Rame, by the way? Oh my fucking god, I swear to god, if I see another PvP -er flex their Relics, I will fucking eat your dog, okay? Come the fuck down. Alright, E1 Rame, very good, very nice. Is this a E0 thing? 168 speed with the, uh, okay, Calbagini as well. E0 S1, that is fair. And then this is gonna be Harmony MC on 4-piece, Ego 2-piece, Talia. Uh, and then this is going to be rocking the Dunstans on 159 speed, right? Okay, very good. Oh my... I hope you step on the Lego. Okay, Shu Shang is going in. Shu Shang is going in. Yep. 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 Let's go. Okay. Big kid over here. Okay. Okay, Sarah, for the next PvP, can we collectively tell the contestants to make their volume be 10? Like level 10 volume. It is so soft, it's like for a fucking mosquito. Okay. Oh my god, I just realized we are completely fucking cool here. Blood is not even weak to physical. It is going to be a Ling Sha showcase essentially. As per usual. Okay. Like, what's the point of, of Shu Shang even scaling? It literally does nothing. I mean, you can you can just out with Rami at this point, right? Because we are going to be getting the break with a Lingsha Ling Sha skill, out skill. Like it. Yep, okay. Looks good. Looks good. Skill point generator Shu Shang, absolutely. Rami does have like 5,000 HP. I think we should be very, very nice here. Okay, that's going to be a big hit. Lingsha is going to skill over here, get the ultimate, and we should be able to break this 100%. Getting the four piece for the... Uh, sorry, getting the super break. All right, this breaks for sure. So, honestly, as you guys can see, even if the enemy is completely no imaginary weakness, no physical weakness, no nothing, as long as you're using a fire unit, Lingsha, Gallagher, you're going to break. 285k into 360. I'm dead! Alright, how many MC goes in? Shu Shang going in for the hit over here. Let's see what this damage is gonna be. Oh my god, 95,000. Absolutely insane. Going for the big out. 132. Oh my god, we can't zero cycle, guys. We actually can't zero cycle. <laughs> we can't zero. Ladies and gentlemen, E1 run me. Okay, we are going to get the zero cycle with the skill point generator Shu Shang. 
Okay, I'm actually shocked that we get able to zero cycle the first half with zero physical and zero imaginary winners. It was purely Lingsha, by the way. It was legit all Lingsha. Okay, with the classic Rame stuff. Oh my god. Okay, getting the Super Break onto the mob. DDD is going to be activated. Shu Shang is still a little bit slow, not quite enough to get it. Now we are going to be dealing tremendous... Now Shu Shang can actually deal very good toughness barge damage to Hulei. What are we looking at here? What is bro stalling for? Are you okay? Is bro okay? Yep, you're okay. Alright, let's use our skill, ultimate skill. I, I swear to f***ing God if you... All right, fantastic. All right, we're going to do this. Oh, we're not going to skill immediately, huh? We're not going to skill immediately. Okay. Sorry, we're not going to out immediately. That, that's, that was my bad. We're not going to out immediately. Oh, we're waiting for his break. We're waiting for his angry state. Holy shit. 348k break. Diabolical. Rami is finally gonna skill here. Okay. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Basic into a out. Super break Shushan. Can you get rid of 70% HP? Oh, oh, the bleed, the bleed, oh my god, the bleed, you know what, Ditto, I take everything I said back, store as much as you want, store as much as you want, bro was one, bro needs that break with Shuzhang to deal with that diabolical 179,000 bleed damage, hey Ditto, my bad. I was not familiar with your game. All right, I I'm sorry. Just start, just start as long as you want. That, that's crazy. 179k bleed. Going forward here, I think we are going to be looking at a one cycle clear if we, if we play this good enough. This might be looking like a one cycle clear. The question is, is this enough to get? Because it is very, very thick. 240 toughness. Oh, we are out of skill points. Ah, oh, fuck. That's so bad. We do have a DDD though. Rame is going to run out, out next turn. Oh, no. Ah, oh, that's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. Now there's just no way. You have to go. Yep. Wait, Bunny might come up. Oh, my God. The Bunny saved us. Holy fuck! Wait, is this enough? Nah, it's still not enough. Okay, but that was a crazy, crazy bunny save. Alright, now... Oh my fucking god. Okay, now it's definitely enough. So that is going to be a very, very, very solid... A two-cycle clear here, I believe, right? Super rate. Bada boom, bada boom, bada bang. Alright, adios. 1%. There's no way you did... Alright, hey, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Hey, stop fucking starting, buddy. Alright, bro, what is the style points? Bro, why is the stall points? Oh, oh, oh. And there it is. A two cycle clear with Super Break Shusha. Tying with Super Blade. Our Super Blade also managed to get a two cycle clear, by the way, right? Just saying. Super Blade is a very. Who the. Stop saying Lingsha Showcase. Your mods bet anyone that says Lingsha Showcase, right? Okay, anyways, uh, now Candy, Aventurine, Bubbin. Ting Yun and Shu Shang. So are we gonna see a crit Shu Shang being better? Or Super Break Shu Shang being better? This is okay, this entire video basically boils down to Bubbin versus Runme. Can we finally see a first Bubbin win? Your teammate managed to get a two cycle. So as long as you clear this in three cycles, you win. Within three cycles, you win. Starting off at 29. Starting off at 29. Let's see this. 
Ting Yun instantly outing buffing. I think that's a very classic opening. Don't really have too much to say over there. We're gonna pop up our skill over here, buffing up our. Yep. Okay. Ting is gonna go ahead and buff up our Shu Shang. All right. So this is gonna be a Shu Shang. Oh, I didn't really see the value of the decreased Shu Shang over there. It is what it is. But let's just go for it over here. Eventually, it's gonna go for it for the basic. I wonder if this is gonna be enough to zero it because the point is you are lacking. It's not necessarily crit Shu Shang is bad, but you are lacking a fire teammate. You are lacking Galachat and you are lacking Lingsha. So I have no fucking idea how the hell are you gonna clear this in one cycle. Let alone zero. Okay, 42,000 is not looking too good. 42,000 is honestly not looking too good. We are scaling with Ting Yun again. All right, hitting Bubbin is completely fine. Okay, we are actually gonna scale with Aventrine as well. All right, basic into out, into into a skill. Okay, into a basic again. Ooh. Okay, we do have enough for the ultimate over here. Yeah, this might be a little bit rough. This might be a little bit rough. I mean, you have no choice. You have to base it into an okay DDD. Oh, okay. I mean, then you saved a Ventry. You save the Ventrine, but Robin is gonna run off energy. Ooh, wait, 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 that might be enough. Oh my god, actually enough. Saved. Saved. But is this enough to to make a significant impact though? Cause 43k is honestly a little bit rough. Team's gonna get punched in the face. No reaction. Okay. We are gonna skill again to protect our Ting Yun. Avenging getting punched in the face. Monkey is exhausted. Okay. Holy fuck. Ting Yun got, got. Okay, this is not looking too good. We are now going into Psycho 2. We are now going into Psycho 2 and Team Yun got f***ing imprisoned. I wish there was a cleanser. I wish Huan Huan was here right now so that we can cleanse our, our shit. But uh, it's just a little bit unfortunate over there. Team Yun is gonna get this. We are gonna skill our bubbin. Okay, chat, this is... This is looking rough, guys. Yo. Yo. I'm gonna play this. <laughs> Sleep timer, 60 minutes, wake me up. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, we'll play the Dunam Speed. Because this is gonna take a while. This is going to take a while. Okay. Good. Yep. 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 Mm hmm. Yep. Oh, we can do the, we can do the Pokey React. Wait, 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 Yo, Ting Yun, are you okay? Ding, ding, ding. Yo, Oi Fo, they never give us up. Wait, Ting Yun, are you okay? You do not look too good. 1,000 HP. You do not look too good. Oh my god, Ting Yun, are you okay? Can you stop getting hit? Holy fuck! Oh my god, are you okay? Are you okay? Bro, she's gonna die! Oh my god, my life is gonna die! Okay, not on my life, but like, she does not look too good right now. Okay, at least there's no team, that's fine. Holy sh- Holy shit! Oh my god, are you okay? Okay, okay. 
I'm just I'm just not even looking at the HP bar for for Hule anymore. I'm just looking at Team Green's HP bar. Also, Sarah, move all the names to the top left. No, no okay, top right, top right, top right, right, like right here, above here. What names here? So we can see the HP bar a little bit more clearly. Uh, oh my God, bro! Can you stop getting hit, Team Green? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, I think we can go back to the react. Okay, we are about to see the witness. Okay, I thought he was gonna we're gonna die there, but he recovered. So never mind. I was about to say we're about to witness the end of Hule, but okay, never mind. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. Alright, now we are about to witness the end of Hule, and there it is. Rocking a seven cycle clear. Ace, nice. So blue team, congratulations for winning the losers bracket. Looks like Bobbin has a grand total of 0% win rate. <laughs> Every single team that used Bobbin has lost so far. Hopefully the winner's bracket can see Bobbin going out. Looks like Ryan needs to bet. Ryan needs to buff Bobbin. Bobbin is just a little bit weak right now. We need to have like 600% action value increase, 500% rest, but it's just a little bit weak right now. Yeah, Bobbin is just a little bit. Yeah, it's not really in the meta. Uh, but yeah, our world day is gonna be buff Bobbin. Join Twitch, join Twitch, join Discord, and join Twitter. All the best for Kajapoo. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.